what he's done in his presentation is is mix apples and oranges. Uh, we priced on uh, June the 7th and Colorado priced on uh, July 19th. 42 days different. That's a fairly significant uh, 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 length of time. And the market changes daily. We have always obtained three ratings and the reason we do that is because uh, we, the TAN is the anchor for the credit rating of the entire state. And then competitive uh, bid versus negotiated sale are two different animals. And so the underwriter doesn't do near as much work with a, nego with a competitive sale as he would with a negotiated sale. So yeah, naturally the underwriter cost will be low, but what about the FA or the legal fees that are involved in a competitive sale? So for those reasons, I don't think his presentation is accurate at all in describing Idaho. I think it's very skewed. So why doesn't the state do competitive on this then, if, it's, if it has a lower... Uh you know, the, the, you, you can argue both ways. Uh, in our particular case, we've decided that negotiated was the better way to go. We've looked at the competitive, uh, but we, we feel like we get a very good deal on negotiated. For one thing, when you have an oversubscription, you, you can, you can uh, push the price down, where on a competitive, you don't have that opportunity to do that. Uh, but you can, it's, again, it's two different ways of doing it. It's, uh, I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying we have always used the negotiated sale. He's asked for some further review of this. You don't think that's that's warranted in this case? No, no, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm very proud of the uh, the rate that we have obtained over the years. As I shared with you the documents of uh, historical perspective, we have been very close to the MMD or even gone below the MMD on some occasions, which are not mentioned in his presentation here. but. We've, we've done very well for our taxpayers. We're very proud of the work that we've done.